What's up, YouTube? Today we're back with another Funko Pop for the day, and this one's actually one I bought yesterday. Yeah, I'm recording this on July 4th, and this is actually one I bought on July 3rd. And have you ever waited for a Funko Pop to potentially go on clearance or anything? Anything to go on clearance and then go, I'll buy it when it goes on clearance. And then you see it, you go, I'll buy it when it goes on clearance. And you wait, and you say, I'll buy it when it goes on clearance. And well, it happened. It went on clearance. So I'll show you that Funko Pop in a moment, but I need you to do a couple quick, quick, small things for me. One, hit that like button. Two, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're going to see all this behind me because I got a lot still to show you. And I'm adding stuff and taking away stuff. It's a whole lot going on. And also make sure after you subscribed and followed, you rung the little bell that said, hey, Shimey013 posted another video. Make sure you go check it out. Or, ooh, Shimey0131 live was playing some video games, which I usually do daily. So, Make sure you check those out, too. I'm either on here making videos, making shorts, or playing video games for you guys live. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video games, the videos, the shorts, all that. And I appreciate you guys liking and commenting and just having a good time with me. So, that all being said, <laughs> what Funko Pop did I buy that went on clearance? So, this Funko Pop, I went to the store. I said, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to go get it. And I was like, eh, I don't want it right now. I'll get it later. I know they usually I'll say, I'll wait for high cash. Waited for high cash. I was out of town. Didn't get it. And then I went back. I said, these aren't moving. I just looked at them and said, these are not moving. My local has like 10 of them. And the mall I went to a day later had like six of them. Like, these aren't moving. It's been almost a moment. Been a little bit over a month. These things haven't sold out yet. I was like, fine. I probably can wait. Went to the local again. They still had like eight to 10 of them. I'm like, man. Still not moving. I said, fine. I'll wait till I get some uh, more hot cash and I'll go buy it. It was hot cash when time comes. And then yesterday came and I walked in and I see this printed sign. These Funko Pops for $12. These Funko Pops for $5. So the sign up here that was above my eyes. I'm 6'3", and it was posted about almost 6, 7, 6, 8 feet high. Um, was above my eyes and I saw it. So I asked the woman that was working there. I go, hey, is this correct? Is these pops really 12 bucks? She goes, yeah. And I said, wow, I've been waiting for this thing to go on clearance for a while. I'm definitely grabbing one. And then we were just having a conversation, enjoying, you know, a little conversation. And she goes, yeah, there's a couple t-shirts that we can't get rid of. There was an off-screen t-shirt they were having problems getting rid of. And she's like, when that thing goes on clearance, I'm definitely buying it. Because I said, that's an awesome shirt. I'd probably get one, too, if it ever goes on clearance. So. Mostly because most people don't remember the old school Offspring. And it's an old school Offspring Smash t-shirt. And I love that album. And if it ever goes on clearance, I would probably definitely buy it. And I, I mean, right now I'm, old, old, I'm smashing Pumpkins t-shirt. So, you know, that was my time period. My 90s-ish time period that I enjoyed. So anyway, enough babbling about all that. So she then proceeds to tell me that, you know, she could grab another Funko Pop for 30% off. And there was one my wife wanted, which I will show you at a later date. I will show you that one at a later date. But this one is definitely one I'm excited to share with you guys. And it is perfect for my Disney collection. It is the Kermit and Constantine 2-pack. This was $12. $12 at my local Hot Topic. 12 this thing came in originally at twenty nine ninety. This thing's twelve bucks now, and I am excited to add this to collection. This box wasn't in horrible condition either, you know, a couple scuff marks, a couple dings because it's been on the shelf for so long. But for twelve bucks, I am excited to add this to the collection. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's look at these guys out of the box because uh, this box is a good box. Funko, why are all your boxes not made like this? This is a really thick box, and I know some people go, "Why are you talking about the box?" Because a lot of the Funko boxes are super thin boxes. Why is this like the thickest box that I have, have seen from Funko? Like, this is a sturdy box. Like, this is actually a pain to open because it's so sturdy. Yeah. Like, this is this is a good box, Funko. All your Funko boxes should be like this. So, anyway, let's take Carmen and Costine out of the box. Because I'm excited to see these out of the box. This was one I definitely wanted for my personal collection. I love what, what we used to know as Kermit and Evil Kermit. And then it became, and then we realized it was Kermit and Constantine. So, sorry for the loud noise. These are in here pretty good. So let's first look at just Kermit. And Kermit's really simple. 
He's just a really simple Kermit the Frog. He's he's great. He's great. He is absolutely great. This is a great Kermit. Like it is Kermit. Like you look at this and you go, it's Kermit. You know this is Kermit. This looks like Kermit. This looks like everything Kermit has ever looked like. And that's all you want. That's all you want sometimes with a Funko Pop is something to look like exactly everything it's ever looked like. And this is perfect. So Kermit is perfect. Nothing exciting to see with Kermit except perfection. <laughs> now Constantine. Constantine's probably is also super simple because I expected nothing in this set to be super complicated. And it's not. It is literally Kermit with a hoodie on and a freckle. You see the freckle right here. Boom. And that's it. That's literally the entire pop. And again, nothing complicated. And sometimes, Funko, this is what we want. We love our complicated pops, but sometimes we want two pops that we look like and we go, hey, these are perfect. These are perfect in so many ways because they're simple and we know who they are. So, that being said, Hot Topic actually had a buy two, get two sale, and they had these at $29.90 on the website the day before. The fact that I went and these are 12 bucks, I have to buy anything else made me excited. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Did you guys pick up the Kermit and Constantine two-pack? I absolutely love these. These are great. Um, I'm adding these to my collection. They're going to go with the rest of my Disney stuff. These are perfect. Um, usually, I don't praise Pops, like, saying how perfect they are. But sometimes something so simple is so perfect. So anyway, let me know. Did you grab these? Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you love them, hate them. Did you buy them at twenty nine ninety? and now we grab buying them at twenty nine ninety because I'm telling you they are 12 bucks, Or what? I'm just curious your opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know. What do you think, Kermit and Constantine? I think they're great. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm glad I was able to grab these yesterday. Love them. Love them. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. So until next time. Or next time you go grab your Kermit and Constantine Pop Talk topic. I hope you all have a good one. Have a good 4th of the... Probably you'll see us at the end of the 4th of July. So I hope you guys have a good 4th, safe 4th of July. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Unless you see me tomorrow. I'm hoping you come back and see me tomorrow. But if you don't, hope you have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one.